Okay, my main task is in the reserves department. We work with reserves in the Gulf of Mexico, keeping them kind of the books up to date, and also a task called worst case discharge. So out of the uh, Macondo incident, we've um, done increased work making sure that oil companies' oil spill response plans are, are, are good, basically. And so we review those you know, whenever they come in. Uh, anytime they want to start a new project, we make sure that the worst case that that blowout well um, could occur, the, the company is prepared to deal with that. What I like about it a lot, I've liked this with all my jobs, is it's, uh, it's, it's a new project um, every two weeks, basically. I work in all different areas of the Gulf. So I work deep water, I've worked shelf, you know, it just, and, ev and everything in between. So it's, uh, the task is always changing and interesting. I'm always um, looking at different environments. So Do you like math and science? And if that's a yes, I would just say go for it. Um, because that's, that's really all that I knew I liked. You know, I, I had never heard about an, an engineer as a career until junior or sophomore year of high school. And, uh, it, I don't know, it kind of chose me because I was kind of on the fence between uh, medicine, something like I was thinking actually biomedical engineering, and then uh, petroleum engineering kind of chose me. Um, just, just different random uh, occurrences, you know, uh, I meet a person, talk to this person, and I'm in, I'm in petroleum engineering now, and uh, I wasn't even really sure I liked it. But I got on the, uh, I finally got an internship to where I got into the industry for a summer and that just totally blew me away. It was excellent. It was awesome. Uh, it, it, you know, just I, I just really enjoy working with numbers, analyzing, getting into the details, um, and it, it was anything I wanted it to be. So it was that that told me that I could definitely do this for a career. There's an abundance of it. Uh, it it's it's up and down, of course. You know, because it's all dependent on the price of oil. Um, so there will be rocky years, but also the long term, if you think that, you know, the, the industry, they call it the big cruise shift, um, a lot of bodies are going to be rotating out of the field one way or the other in the next 5, 20 years. So if you can, if you get the degree and you just stick with it, you know, there's going to be huge upward mobility um, no matter what. All bets are off, honestly. Um, we've just gotten into shale, into the, into the shale plays, and those are very young. We don't know what their long-term uh, development really is. We're all still learning about it. Um, we're still exploring deep water. Play, you know, we're still exploring the Gulf, Mexico. We've been doing that for 30, 40 years. Um, we're still developing the North Sea uh, Basin. They're starting to develop the Brazil offshore, and then there's exotic technology. There's you know oil rock shale, so you know the, the more exotic stuff that hasn't um, been developed yet. But you know shale was an exotic that they didn't know how to produce, and now they do.